<clears throat> Hello again, Ian Stuck with Mastermind Games, this time uh, painting Cataphract Incendiary from the Scorn Faction of Hordes. Rosy Shadow 09067 to start. And I'm just going to do one model on camera and hit the rest off camera. Since that seemed to work out reasonably well last time I did it. Face and it's funny again because the helmet for some reason is a separate piece. I don't know why. And as cataphract, these guys are tough, heavy infantry. And as incendiare, they have uh, guns that fire rockets full of napalm and have axe blades to boot. So I can stay there for a second, and I'll take. Dark Elf Skin 09164 and hit up his cloth. This will be similar to the Arcuri I did. A few differences, but not too terribly many. It's mostly in the armpits. Though some of this may have been intended to be armor, I'm not certain, but. Uh, his helmet along with it. And then this long skirt underneath the armor. And this is one piece that the Arcura I didn't have, and that's the Magazine of spare rockets clipped to the hip. <clears throat> Essentially, a weapon that has to be reloaded after each shot. It's a common thing with uh, Iron Kingdom's firearms. There are some machine guns, but not every faction has them. So, I'm gonna let that dry and start uh, on the rest of the models while it does. Okay, Marine Teal 09077. I will be picking out some of the shoulders in a 
other details in a different color. It is still early in the morning, so I'm still waking up. Okay, that's got it. So, get the rest and uh, move on in a minute. <clears throat> Antique Gold 09050 is next. I'm going to turn my reverb down. Or speakers, then. Uh, uh, using the wrong words. Oh boy, okay. I switched brushes as that other one was getting a little too beat up to keep using, so... Trying to make certain I'm in camera for this. Getting the trim on select areas. I'll go ahead and do the pull for the banner now. This does nick the shoulders a bit, so it's going to be a bit tricky, but I've got it. Afraid of doing touch ups when you need to. We'll pick out the blade at the top of the banner and save it for later. Just stay like it is for now. Nicked that, but that's okay. That's gonna get done in steel later anyway. <clears throat> okay. So uh, probably not. I don't know why I keep whispering during these.
Quick spell, I'll figure out one of these days. I will say I've been much more satisfied with the way these videos have been turning out since I upgraded my camera. But I still have a lot to learn about doing this. I have a much better idea this time around of what details I need to keep my eyes open for. So this will go a lot smoother than the last heavy infantry video I did. Okay. I think that's all I want to do with the gold, so I will call it good at that and get the rest of the squad painted up to match. Okay. 09197 Old Bronze. Send us a weapon here. Seeing tires because I am. Couldn't get to sleep for a while last night because the same neighbors <laughs> getting into a one sided shouting match. that I just need to apply to the rest of the weapons and move on a bit. Zero nine zero zero two deep red is next. And this belt, so basically secondary cloth color. Okay, just a couple of base coats left. Oiled leather, 09110. Okay. 
Still got to work on my camera work. I'll get there eventually. Excuse me. So I'm just going to go on the grip of their Incendus rifle. And to a certain extent on the back here, I'm kind of guessing. But I've just got a lot of experience doing that. And then I'll pick out the uh, rockets later with the last base coat. It's a bit thick. Apply to the rest and move on. That is still not focusing very well. Huh. Okay, last base coat. Tarnished, tarnished steel 09206. This blade on the banner is a different shape than the one on the cataphrac Arcuri. Arcuri. I'm not I'm still not sure how exactly that's supposed to be pronounced as intended, but A little trickier with the camera right there, but it's all right. As in, the camera's a bit in my way, but this is still less awkward than the way I was doing it. I can hold the model and my brushes in a more natural position. I don't know why I'm whispering. Yeah, I felt really weird today. Days like this make me wonder if they spike the water at work. Which is, you know, I wouldn't put it past them. Okay. That's just going to leave the blades on the incendus. I'm not certain if this is supposed to be a gunpowder weapon or a gas pressure projectile weapon, but it's going from what I've seen generally save their gunpowder for the cannons carried by their heavy war beasts. But hmm. I didn't start getting Horde's books till the second edition, so I did end up missing out on some of that lore. And talk of uh, doing a lore, a book of these uh, older, the older fiction, but um, right now that's just rumor. I've heard. Okay. Let's see spikes, blades. Okay. That's oh, almost.
almost forgot the rocket loaded in the weapon itself. That spike is not decorative, it is not even a spike, it is the missile itself. Okay, get the rest and then I can start to shave. Okay, first shade, black and steel, 09205. Now I'll try to get in camera first. Okay, so in terms of lore for War Machine Hordes, there are novels, but most of them are ebook only, and I prefer real books, so I'm kind of missing out on those, but a lot of the lore was coming from the annual rule books, which I stopped doing in favor of a uh, digital format in this community integrated development so fiction is a bit more sporadic than it used to be for the Iron Kingdoms with the most recent thing being a <clears throat> short vignette focusing on two new Circle Orbros characters Okay, I'll apply that to the rest and move on a bit. Okay, next up is Red Brick 09001. Tassels and belts. I hope the wrong camera for this. Good gravy. Let that dry. I was hoping to do one more, but that's not going to be possible. So, back again. All right, next up, Ruddy Leather 09109. Got that. Apply the rest and I can move on in a little bit. 
Alright, next, aged pewter, 09196. on the weapon. Trying to avoid hitting the rocket inside the barrel. Okay. I'm just going to leave the gold and the teal and the flesh and the black. In fact, I think I can go ahead and get the gold right now as well. So this is... Oh no, I better wait a minute and get the bronze and everything else first before my paint dries. Alright. <sighs> Ancient bronze 09049 is next. This bottle's giving me a little trouble, so paper clip away. paint half water to dilute it into a wash. And this is tricky with the angle of that flag. Probably the only way I could get it on there right. The helmets on these uh, officers are a little that's what we're looking for. Ridiculous, I suppose. Bit over large, but you know, gotta go for style points sometimes, right? Gonna try to be more careful with this than I was with the Arcuri. Did a few videos ago. I just realized there's a detail I didn't do in the gold on this one that I did with the Arcuri, but you know what? That's okay, they can be a little different. <clears throat> okay, that's got the gold, so I'll get that applied to the rest of the squad and move on a little bit. Huh? Huh. Okay. Where is it? Zero nine zero seven six deep ocean. Let's 
some of the gold be okay. Excuse me. This is just going to be tricky no matter how I do it, just because of... Now here's where it gets really tricky. Okay, that's the most difficult. All right. Just a bit tricky going around this and send us here. of the rest and then I just got the hand the uh, skin excuse me on the cloth okay up next uh, dark elf shadows are 9163 
And while I'm at it, I'll get the jewels set up. So pure white, 09039. Possible that these are sackle stone stones in the chest, which are designed to uh, hold the soul of the scorn possessing them. But uh, that's just conjecture. I'm not even sure if I'm using that word properly. It's been a long couple of days. I'll apply this to the rest of the squad and uh, come back in a bit. Okay. Pine Green 09010. We get some uh, lighting effects in the gems. This thing is clogged up and it's about shot too, so I don't know if I have a spare or not. That might do it. Right. So the. Uh, Dark Elf skin is still drying. And then I'm going to take Blood Red 09003 and shade the skin. It's a weird kind of pal um, pallor to them. And, huh. So my friend stated, sunburned scorn. But huh, all they do live in the desert, so... I just feel it worked well on that uh, Beastmaster's a car, so... Okay. Got this applied to the rest of the squad and move on in a minute. Oh boy, did I even count for that? Okay, pale green And apply to the rest. Okay, time to get the last, uh, time to get the eyes of uh, pure white 09039. Just gonna do these all on camera real quick. So. Pine brush and just carefully dot in the skull hair. I think that's the right word. This one's particularly awkward because the helmet doesn't quite go on straight. It's an odd, it's an odd choice to have the helmet a separate piece on the officer there. So get the lights on all six models and get the pupils and let that dry before I start highlighting. Oh, for crying out loud, my neighbors are at it again. Well, you know what? I am not going to bother. If they want to go scream at each other, 
at all hours of the day and night, well, the internet can listen in. So I have just about had it with, uh, it's not even both of them, it's just one of them that keeps screaming at a roommate. snagged on part of the blades there, okay. And pure black 09037. I'm still getting the hang of colored eyes. But Carefully done in pupils as best I can. Tiny dots, fine. I've got hardly any water on the brush, just enough to get it just barely damp. More, so it doesn't look googly eyed. guys dry up and then start highlighting. Oh boy, I was in. Okay, first highlight is Rosie Skin 09068. Now, apparently was out of camera for most of that last take. Unfortunately, I only get one shot at any of this. Just need to pick out the right brush. So almost no paint, we're just gonna, no water, just rub it on a paper towel so it looks like it's almost empty, and just slightly dust. And since you can't see too well, I'll do another one. Just the helmet. Okay, I'll hit the rest off camera and then get on the next one ASAP. All right, next. Excuse me. Next up, Dark Elf Highlights zero nine one six five. over the most visible areas of cloth. Concerning myself primarily with the raised surfaces, not underneath the, so not underneath the bottom here, mostly the raised, most readily visible surfaces here. Let's see if I can get that to focus in a little better. Eh, not particularly. You can kind of see the lighter areas, and this is kind of subtle, so apply that to the rest. Let's see, next up, let's work on the rockets. Ruby Red 09101. So this is one of those, well, aside from being clogged, this is one of those things where if you mix up your shades, highlights, etc., you can get some interesting effects. Whoa, that came out a little erratically. I'm just using this on the rockets themselves, not any of the other metal. So... Wait. 
might leak dust in like that, and that gives this red hue to them. So, quite a bit of rust, and move on. Next up, True Silver 09207. There is a bit more of this than of the other cause I've done this far, so I'll just get the uh, capital of the banner there. against the uh, edges so I can so it catches it better a little better okay apply that to the rest get on to the next Okay, next up, I believe I'm going to go with Surf Aqua 09078. This is one of the big ones. Well, yeah, probably the biggest. I'm starting to ramble here. Let's uh, take care of this while my brain drops the clutch any more than it has. It's a little trickier to do the banner just because of the ornaments on the back, but Concerning myself mostly with what is most readily visible. And trying not to nick the jewels I did earlier. Okay, that's actually uh, took less time than I thought it would. Okay. So apply to the rest and move on. Okay, Blood Reds 09003. That weird echo again. Yeah, so. Get my cloth and tassels. Then, where's my detail brush? Go ahead and get some iconography on the banner of it.
Look kind of ugly on that side, but okay. Apply to the rest. All right. Zero nine one nine eight tarnished brass. here. It's amazing I have a trouble that I have trouble saying the word tarnished followed by steel but not brass. Maybe it's the consonants there. Okay. It's got that so move on to the next just a few left. Next up, new gold 09051. I think I've got two, maybe three colors left for highlights, and then I can get the bases uh, worked on and detailed, then uh, get this finished up. And yes, I'm aware my chair could probably use a can of WD-40, or three, or four. Okay, I'll apply to the rest, and move on. A burnt orange, 09111. Too much of that wrapping visible, so I'll go ahead and do another one. A bit too much paint. Okay. Oh boy, and I wasn't even camera on that one. Let's try again. This is drained one of those days. <laughs> okay. Okay, may as well get the rest of the squad since uh, I've already gone this far. the biggest detail which was the captain's banner so now I can that's all the highlighting uh -oh. my brush box is starting to look kind of funky so zero nine zero zero two deep red and I'll get the arc started Using a flathead, being careful on anything that comes too close to the base. I'm going to deliberately overextend on the color and then, <coughs> oh, of course, I knock my camera. Then backfill with black once this dries to get the arc exact. And 
part of me thinks maybe I should have chosen a brighter color, but I'm just rolling with what I'm in my choice. I'm going to roll with it. Should be okay. I definitely want the arc to look like they're actually aiming at a enemy with these weapons. Kind of basic. I keep conking the top of my camera with my brush and it keeps picking it up. But kind of basing the direction of the arc off where they're looking. Okay, once that's dry completely, I can get the back arc just about finished. Alright, and here's where the angle gets weird. So, I've got him on my self-healing cutting mat with the markings for the base sizes. Getting him centered like I want him. And pure black 09037. This is fairly tricky for me to do on camera because I gotta get at this with a kind of a weird angle. But I'm picking up nuts. Okay, center again. Carefully picking out the edges with a detail brush. Just paint a couple thin lines up. Okay. Then using a flat brush again, just backfill the rest. Once that's dried completely, then I can uh, label the squad and get the flock in there, sand in my case. So, get the rest back in a minute. Okay, time to uh, get the basing worked on. 09039 Pure White. This is just to mark the troops so I can differentiate quickly and easily. Do them all in one shot here myself a little crowded. So starting with the leader. Don't know where all that gunk came from. Roman numeral one to represent the first unit. I, this is field allowance two or three. And then model A. It's a little booger on the base. One B. And this is not easy with something as flexible as a brush, but I've been doing this for a while. And doing it at this scale isn't so bad. One. C. Whoa! I got no grip today. And F one. F. 
Okay. Now taking a sacrificial brush. There we go. That would be. Mix up the glue solution. Of just white glue. Going to be very generous in this case since I got six whole models to work on. Well, six whole models on 40 millimeter bases. And water about half and half. Well, no, actually a little more water than glue. Keep the brush wet. This will wreck a brush sooner, so don't use your best. Use one of your worst. Should be kind of pointy, though. Mix it all up. Whoa, almost dropped it. Like I said, I've got no grip today. I'm going to get my sand pulled out. And this is just the $5 for a 10-pound bag kind of uh, playground sand from a hardware store I'm painting. As carefully as I can around the edges, around the feet. There's a lip too. That'll catch most of the material. These little boogers near the feet are masking tape I use to plug up the excess uh, of the slot in the base. Which was a necessity otherwise. The sand will just go down into the gap and leave a big divot. That's no fun. And you can see right here where it's pooled up. And be generous with this solution. Okay. Give her a dip in the sand, shake out the excess, and see because some water got on the tape, that uh, sand got caught in it, so taking a separate brush that's dry to brush it up to dust off. There's a little gap right there. If I can fill it, I'm gonna go kinda just got uglier than normal. Carefully dusting off, pushing it away from the feet, and the feet on these guys are kind of weird. They're, they have these pointy boots, which I actually understand the purpose would be to give an angle to a angle to deflect incoming fire. But okay, starting to ramble a bit. Okay. So I need to let that set while I apply the rest. And after giving it oh about 20 to 30 minutes to set, I can finish up and seal it. Okay. Scenic cement. This is a sprayer brush on adhesive. Glass eyedropper. Whoa, dropped it. I emphasize glass because plastic will uh the stuff will bond to plastic quickly. Just gonna carefully Rip that on around the feet. You need to give this time to set, otherwise this will do nothing more than push your basic material around and then seal it. But this will give it a rock hard finish and keep the material on the model and out of your box or wherever you store it. So outside of applying to the rest of the squad, that is it. The Cataphract Incendiari from the Scorn Faction of Hordes. Got two more uh, Scorn videos and then it's likely back to Blackstone Fortress. So, until then, I am Ian Stuckey with Mastermind Games, signing out.